Hey, what's up guys? So some people were asking me, how do you fix audio video sync issues? And some others were asking, what is the maximum frame rate that you capture at to do your slow motion effects in your YouTube videos? So I'm gonna talk about both of those issues in this video, and I'm gonna show you how to select and use the optimal frame rate for internet video. All right, let's check it out. 30 FPS is the maximum frame rate you can use for YouTube. This is the frame rate that I use in my most recent videos. It's highly supported, but the problem with 30 FPS is it's slow compared to today's gaming standards. Some of the pros for 60 FPS, it's really smooth for gaming. It's actually better to use for slow motion shots. The problem with 60 FPS, it generates huge files. It's, it takes a huge amount of data. It's not supported by YouTube yet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture video at 30 FPS. You can use Fraps, Bandicam. In the second part, we're going to set the project settings to 30 FPS. In this example, I use Adobe After Effects, but this also applies to Sony Vegas or whatever video editing program you're using. In the third part, if you're using image sequences, we're going to set those to 30 FPS. In this example, I'll use 3D text from Cinema 4D. In the final step, we're going to set our render settings to 30 FPS. All right, currently I'm using Fraps to capture my video game video. Although Fraps is not the only program you can use, it captures high quality video. Here I open up Fraps and looking at the movies tab, uh, the best thing to do, capture to a hard drive that's not being used by the video game or the operating system. And under video capture settings, this is important. Here you can choose the frames per second. Here I select 30 FPS. It may look a little different in your version of Fraps, but the idea here is the same. If you use Bandicam under the video tab, click the settings button. Here you can select FPS 30. Open up Adobe After Effects. Go to composition, new composition. Pull down the preset menu and select HDTV 1080 29.97. This is the preset I use for 1080 HD, but we have to change the frame rate. So go to the frame rate pull down and select 30. Now you're at 1080 30 FPS. Make sure the resolution is set to full and I modify the duration of this composition to 1 minute 58 seconds. Uh, the composition settings is a really important step to setting up the video. Here's how you double check your composition settings. Uh, select the composition, right click on the composition you just made and select composition settings. Here you see your composition settings again and they're correct. Now let's drag the video footage we just took into the new composition. Now when I select this video, you can see in the project window that it says 30 FPS. Now let's drag the video into the composition. Let's say that you're working with a 3D program and you want to bring 3D text or 3D objects into your video. For example, I like to use Cinema 4D to create 3D text or 3D objects and track them into my WoW videos. I exported that 3D text into an image sequence at 30 frames per second. As you're setting up your video, keep everything at 30 frames per second. Go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, select Render Settings. Here I just double check the quality is best, the resolution is full, the size is 1920 by 1080. And very important, the frame rate says use comps frame rate, which is 30 frames per second. The format I select is H264, which is a codec that YouTube recommends. Also I found that when you have a mismatch of frame rate during capture, in your composition, or during render, sometimes there's an audio video sync mismatch. This issue can happen for a number of reasons and a mismatch in the frame rate is one of them. All right, that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Good luck and have fun.